Greetings fellow Demon Slayers, this is Timon and Mari here today with another video. So, for today's topic, we're going to talk about how close we are to catching up. So, in case you guys didn't know, we did get the announcement on the official YouTube for the English side that Chapter 11 will be coming with tomorrow's maintenance, or today's maintenance, or however you want to look at it. So with Chapter 11 coming in, we're pretty close now. Um, I believe they're just now getting Chapter 12 in Japan. So, I mean, I'd say that makes us pretty much caught up as, part, as far as story. Like, because I doubt we'll ever get anything at the same time. We're always going to be, like, slightly behind, whether it be by, like, a month or a couple of weeks. But with us getting Chapter 11 as they get Chapter 12, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, we're just going to be getting the stuff right after them at this point. In, in regards to story. So like. One benefit before I move on from the story subject. Is we will be able to get some more gems tomorrow. 150 in total. If you're able to beat through hard mode. And outside of that. Yeah we'll move on to other things. So events. From what I've heard. And I, I could be wrong. But I believe we're 5 to 6 events behind Japan. I don't know if we're ever going to really catch them in regards to, like, events, because they're getting... Yeah, I think they get them maybe as often as we do. So, it's going to be really hard for our events to catch up, but we are, like... I, be, I, I believe it was five or six. Don't quote me on it. But with that being said... If we keep pushing out events, like... We're going to always be, like... In a situation where we're doing them, which I guess is good, because even if we are moving at the same pace as JP, we'll always have an event to do. Which, let's face it, this game needs, because if we ever have a time where events aren't present, the only thing really there to do would be to farm dailies if you're done with story, and to farm time attacks, so... Yeah, I don't mind like us staying behind with events because that means there will always be an event trickling in, which we definitely need. Outside of events, um, looking at the gotcha banners, I believe we're pretty much current. Like they rushed everything out onto us so quickly that we're caught up. Like Japan had Franco like a little bit back, but I know we got Spica at the same time. And I'm pretty sure, like, they had Yuno know, recently, or recently enough, like, that we already have her. The only thing we're really behind on would be, like, characters, because we just got Kuranai. Meanwhile, Japan is probably gearing up to get Ingrid next. I don't know exactly who they have coming after Obero, I'll have to look into it. But I believe it may be Ingrid, but we will see. But either way, like, with the way they rush banners out, they certainly haven't been shy about it. So even if we aren't caught up, we will be, because three banners at a time is ridiculous. So, we're gonna catch them in terms of banners. I personally wish that they would handle them a bit slower, just to give people time to actually get their bearings, but... That's obviously not gonna be the case, so... Yeah, with that being said, we'll definitely catch them in banners if we haven't already. Because we've already had, like, a lot of the the big supporters come through. Like, we had our Fuyumi banner, we had our Suzune banner, and those were, like, considered supporters to get. And they came, like, basically back-to-back. -back. And then they threw Spica at us, like, not long after. And now we're already staring at Yuno, which is our second invincibility supporter that's been available in the pickup gacha. So... If we're not caught up, then we're certainly close, because they're definitely rushing these things out. Like, I know Japan right now, I believe they have the Asuka banner. Because people have already, like, said to me that they've pulled on her banner and talked about her effect. So with that being said, that would be probably the next thing they throw in our face. Probably alongside Obro, or maybe even before Obro, who knows. But I could definitely, like, assume Asuka may be next. So moving on from here, I really want to do this gold gotcha pull, but I'll do it on my own time. The next thing I want to look at is skins. Are we catching up in skins? I believe we probably are caught up or pretty damn close. I know we're missing like the bathing suit skins. As far as those go, it'd be better to come here. 
So yeah, we are missing bathing suit skins, which are going to be like a limited thing. But I do know like they announced the Oni skins in Japan recently. I believe the Oni skins were for Shiranui. Um, crap, what was it? Sue, Shiranui, Obro, and I can't remember the fourth girl. Curses, shame on me. But either way, like four of the girls are getting an Oni skin. So, I know that people have told me they teased it on the English channel. That, that Mimi chick teased it. So I guess what that basically means is we're going to be getting those rather soon. And we've gotten everything else like pretty up front. Like we got the Christmas skins at Christmas. We didn't get last year's. So I wonder what they're going to do in regards to that. But seeing as we got the New Year skins with them for the characters that were available, like we never got Kurenai's New Year skin because she came out after. And I wonder if that's going to be the case with the Oni skin. So what I could see them doing is maybe throwing the skins we missed in a Golden Pass. Or who knows? I don't know what they're going to do as far as what we missed. It'll be really scummy if we just never see the skins. Because I'm still wondering if we're going to get the Christmas skins from last year. So, like, we are missing some older skins that came before our version, or skins that characters had that we didn't get because we didn't have the character yet. But as far as skins that come out, if we have the character, we are getting them, like, rushed to us. So, some examples that are notable would be if we come over to Emily. Her mummy skin was announced, and we, we basically got it in a golden pass soon after she came out. Other examples, again, would be like this New Year skin. That was announced and we got it right away because we had Emily. And the same thing went for... God, did... Sue. Yeah, Sue had a Christmas skin. And basically, as we got Sue, her Christmas skin was also applied. So, like, if we have the character, we definitely get the stuff. So I can assume that the Oni skins, like, you know, we're going to get them for characters we have. But we may not get it for, like, Obro... Unless they time it so we get the Oni skin along with Obero. But we'll just have to see, like... I just wanted to talk about, you know, as far as, like, how close we are. I'd say with skins, we're pretty close. I'd say as far as gotcha, we're close. Story, we're absurdly close. And, yeah, the only thing we're really behind on, like, that we're really behind on, I'd say, is events. Because I can guarantee we're five to six behind. Because there, there were a bunch of supporters in that Christmas event that we hadn't, haven't seen yet. That should be coming eventually. And I'm sure they'll just like fill our time like while they update J Japan by giving us those events we've missed. I believe we're also missing maybe two more weapon events. Because we've only had one of the ultra rare weapon events show up. So counting like the five to six supporter events with the two weapon events i believe we're behind maybe like seven to eight events total if you count every type of event the only other thing we're missing is they added a new dispatch system to the japanese version i don't really know much about it guys like i've seen screenshots of it but that's all and i want to have it here before i actually start going into detail but the gist of it is you send out supporters and they do tasks and you get a reward for it. So those rewards could be things like AP pots or gems. You know, things along those lines. I can tell you now in the screenshot I saw it doesn't seem super worth it. Because you're only going to get like... I think one of the gem rewards showed that you would get four gems. So that's a little bit meh. But it's better than nothing. And as far as like another issue I have with the system... And again, this is just me talking off speculation from the screenshot I saw. Is a lot of them require you to send an ultra rare supporter of a certain type. So like it'll be like send an ultra rare assist supporter. So you would need like a supporter that fits that bill that is ultra rare. You can't do the expedition from what I gathered. So it'll kind of isolate people who don't have a huge stock of ultra rares lying around. Though events do provide them, not everyone's going to have like multiple types of supporters like i believe as far as events the only assist supporter we even have or we have two we have nanami and we have katagina that's not many so if you ever come across a day where you need three assist ultra rares you'll be looking at the screen funny if you don't have anything else another issue with the system is it seems like you have to pay to unlock slots to use it um 
one person who commented on a video says like the final slot costs 500 gems so that kind of bugs me a little bit because you're basically giving up gems to be able to use this system like at least for one of the slots and then i believe the other cost gold but again we'll we'll look more into it when we get it but i do know japan has this system for sending out supporters personally i really wish we would get another gameplay mode as opposed to like a dispatch mode the final worry i have with the system and then i'll leave you guys with that is you're sending out supporters and some of them require an ultra rare supporter i don't know if when you send out a supporter on this system does that mean you can't use the supporter while they're dispatched so i worry about that like i really hope they make it like the facilities where as you can see in my facility, I have, I believe Shiranui's chilling here, but I can still play her. The same thing goes for the experience facility. We have Yuki walking here just to use the facility, even though she's maxed in case there are any achievements. But either way, like she's here, but I can still use her in game. So I hope that they keep that up with the supporters, that sending them out doesn't lock you from actually equipping them. Because that would be unfortunate. Because there are some ultra rare supporters I just simply don't want to send out at that point. Like, I would never want to be in a situation where I can't use my Fumas. I never want to be in a situation where I can't use, like, my Onigumo or my Suzune. Like, you know, there's a lot of supporters here that, while I don't always use them, I don't want to be in a situation where I can't use them. Just for minuscule rewards. Like, this Yuki, I send her out all day because I never ever use her because she's low S level. But, that's besides the point. So... With that, maintenance is tonight, as you all know. You know what I'm going to say. Make sure your facilities are reset close to the, re the maintenance time. Make sure you burn all your AP. Make sure you burn all your battle points. So that way, while the game is offline for 4-5 to five hours, you're not running out of resources. Your resources will fill up nicely. And you'll have a nice stack of resources to go ahead and get, get started on Chapter 11 when we get it. Besides that, yeah, like... We're almost caught up, guys, so hopefully they will slow down on us a bit. Like, that's my major hope, because they can't possibly keep rushing us if we're caught up to JP and we get stuff behind them, unless they put us on the same timetable. So we'll see what happens in the coming month or two, because we're definitely, like, on JP's heels now as far as releases. So with that, you all go ahead. You have a great rest of your day. I mean, you have good luck in your gotchas and in the arena. You guys go ahead and take care, and I'll catch you tomorrow with the weekly update video.